Yee y'all, yee yee, it's your boy Purple back at again with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a video on GTA 5. But not like the last one that I did, where I kind of explained the economy and everything behind and around GTA. I'm going to be discussing the community, the biggest asset. I will, I would say, the biggest asset of GTA 5. The community, and I think the way that it's changed but also the way that it's prospered so when gta 5 came out it was no doubt one of the biggest communities because it was such a humongous game i mean literally everyone had this game from little timmy down the block to you know timmy's second second cousin's brother's mom's husband had the game you know so everybody had it and so that's why the community was so huge maybe not that many people were like in the community but they played the game and that makes them part of the community and the community for gt has always been great like if there's a problem they call they call rockstar out on it and rockstar has always been a great company when it comes to like pr and fixing things like fixing things very quickly in their games and so the community and the company work will work really well together but the community when like whenever i play a, a shooter game whether it's first person third person i always expect the community to be toxic toxic like if you play nba 2k i'm talking about nba 2k levels of toxic like no matter what you do someone's going to hunt you down they're going to try to grief you they're going to blow up anything that you're doing and for the most part that is this game okay like i'm be real with you there are people who will grief you if you're doing something and you're you're like doing a pointless mission like you're searching up supplies for one of your offshore businesses that you're never going to use again someone's going to hunt you down in an oppressor mark ii or a hydra or e even today i got hit with an orbital cannon i forgot those were in the game and i got hit by one i'm i'm just driving down the street not doing anything and i got hit by an orbital cannon and i'm like that kid that kid's a try hard and he, you know he used his mom's credit card to buy that because that thing is not cheap at all but you know someone's always going to hunt you down and that's just the community like the community is like okay you're doing something it means nothing to me right i stop you i get really nothing i get like two thousand dollars but it will mess you up and that's what i'm looking for that's essentially the mindset of almost everyone in this game it's like it doesn't affect me but it affects you and that'd be funny like I I'd just like to think of you panicking over you losing some supplies you know and so like that's why there's nothing scarier than like seeing a freaking jet icon on your map when you're when you're like selling something like oh my god I'm telling you you're, if you're selling something especially something big like in the 200 like 300,000 plus range there's nothing scarier than seeing the little bike em the bike like icon or the jet icon because you know that if they realize that you're near them and you're doing whatever kind of work they're coming for you they are hunting you down you specifically you right there they're coming for you and when they come for you there's no stopping them because hydras are impossible to shoot like it is so hard to kill somebody out of a hydra because it's too fast it's too fast to like get hit by a homing launcher and even if it isn't too fast they'll just do a loop-de-loop -loop and and the rocket's gone but that is like mainly the bad side of the community that's the side that if you ask anybody about, that's what they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you that it's like 8,000 kids. You know, there's like 8 kids level 8,000 hunting me down in hydras whenever I go to do my work. Right? 
but realistically it's one kid it's one kid probably in the range of like level 300 or or lower maybe 500 most likely it's a modded account and you know they they just they just sat there and they bought a hydra just for the sole reason of doing this to people and like killing them you know and the part that I don't think anybody talks about nowadays is how the the community has kind of reformed because back when Hydra's first dropped that's all that it was like bro everybody had modded accounts back then every and everybody who had a modded account had a Hydra they had an oppressor you know and they were they were ready they were sitting in that thing hovering in the sky waiting to get a text from agent 14 saying oh someone is doing bunker work or someone is doing a gun running shipment destroy them and earn money in rp and they go and they will set out to destroy you and that's all that it was when hydras and stuff came out but now it's like i actually have faith in people like i can drive by someone like me and someone can drive past each other and neither of us will pull out our guns you know like that's so crazy because even before the hydras and before the oppressors if someone saw you if someone saw you like getting close to them and you were driving their way oh you best bet they stopped got out of their car they sat there waiting for you the second that you came by they used their auto aim to aim at you and gun you down the second that you came in their sight and I don't know, I feel like it's really, the, the community has really reformed from just being like, oh, you're there, I'm gonna shoot you, and then run. You know, now it's kind of like a, will I shoot you? Eh, it depends. If, if you're doing something, I might. If you're shooting at me, then me, definitely. You know, and it's kind of like that, you know, it's kind of like a, you shoot at me, you shot first, I shoot you dead now. Essentially. Or you try to run me over, you're coming really fast directly at me? Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, so. So now, I feel like I can actually, like, run around and, like, drive around in Los Santos in Blaine County and actually not be worried about someone gunning me down in a Hydra, even though I'm just running, you know? Like, I could just be doing nothing. I could just be driving for the sake of driving and waiting for my bunker staff to, you know, manufacture my guns and stuff. And I won't have to worry about someone hunting me down in an oppressor to kill me for sport, you know? And I think that's that's something that nobody awards to the GTA community. Nobody's like, oh, yeah, look, you know, they're, the GTA community isn't improving. It's not... Like, it's improving in a sense that no one's using Hydras now. It's just that the kids that are using Hydras may or may not come after you. And it's definitely not even Hydras anymore. I, I barely see Hydras. I see normal military jets that someone probably stole and is going to be in for about 15 more seconds before they eventually crash into some building um, or jump out. Or it's an Oppressor Mark II. Which, by the way, the Oppressor Mark II is trash. Like, it's so bad. Um, The Oppressor Mark II is just so bad. Like, if, if you use it, like, if you bought one, all it does is fly around and shoot rockets. And if it's, if it's a, like, if it's a supplies vehicle, the rockets don't even lock onto them. So then it just come comes completely useless you know like it goes straight from like a i spent three million dollars on a flying motorcycle that shoots guns and rockets to i bought a flying piece of metal that doesn't lock on to things that i care about you know but now i feel like i can actually like drive past people and feel safe that they're not going to shoot back at me and something else that I noticed has improved drastically is, like, help. Like, it, if you're doing, like, a heist, like, let's say you're doing the prison break for some reason, or the Pacific Standard, or the Humane Labs Raid, or one of those, 
or even like the the Bogdan scenario or the Bogdan heist or what, whatever the heck it's called. I don't know. There's like eight different names for it. Um, you know, if you're doing one of those, then like I feel like the people who join are like genuinely good people. Like I remember before I used to run into the problem of like, oh, I would ask people to come help, and then I get all these freaking scrubs, which most of them are still scrubs. That's kind of like a you know, uh, this just gonna come with it. The only people that are gonna help you are the kids that need money. It's not gonna be like the level 300 with a Hydra that's gonna come help you. You know, who's been playing since June of 2014. You know, he's not gonna come help you because he has money. He has everything that he wants. It's gonna be the level 17 kid that got this for Christmas of 2018 after he broke the disc after he had it for a month. You know? That's who's gonna come help you, and yeah, they might be trash, but, like, it's better than not getting anyone, because I remember there was a brief period where no one helped anyone. Like, you want to do the prison lab? You want to do the prison break thing? You needed your own friends. You want to do the humane labs? You needed your own friends. You want to do the Pacific Standard? Now, now that's a different story, right? But the thing about the Pacific Standard is that it it's... It's like a congratulately losing heist. So if you guys fail it, like if you guys take a lot of damage, if one of the money holders takes a lot of damage, you lose that money in the next go. So like let's say you're holding 2 million, right? And you lose 300,000 in your first run. Okay? Then when you restart, you're going to start back at that same point that you started at 2 million, but you're only going to have 1.7. And then you get your deductions. Then you get like your 30% and your 70% or whatever it is after after they've taken that off, if you get what that means, you know? So, you know, like that one was always one that you didn't want help with because you knew that the help that you were going to get was going to be terrible. And it still is terrible. Like the help that you're going to find is going to be scrubs, like I said but at least it's better help than none because bro hydras came out and oppressors came out and like the whole bunker update came out and everyone was like yeah no i'm not doing any more heist i'm sticking to my bunker i'm gonna stay in my oppressor flying around in my hydra blowing up other people's stuff and they were like why would i stop and go help you do a four part freaking setup mission just to do a pacific standard heist that i'm gonna get 20% of 900k, you know, and that's like nothing. Especially in this game. Nowadays, that's barely anything. So, well, I do feel like the help has been has become worse because now, I mean, I didn't even join heist. You know, I'm not like, you know, big balling or anything. Like I I just have everything that I want. And I'm not going to join some random dude's heist just to you know pop in and be like oh hey you know and try to make some money off of it because i don't really need money i have all the money that i want and i have ways to make money that i want and so it's like you know at least you're getting better help than none that's how i'm going to describe it and at least the community isn't going to be like oh it's, i found that when you're doing the doomsday heist and you have those free mode setups dude when i was doing those i was so scared okay because i was like someone's gonna come hunt us down in an oppressor and they're they they're gonna know that we're doing the doomsday heist and they're gonna chase us down and we're gonna they're gonna like blow us up because they've already done it like eight times with their friends and i was like oh and that's actually part of the reason that i stopped playing this game for like a good six months is that i wanted to do the the bogdan heist but I couldn't because I had to do free mode setups and those free mode setups are impossible when there is someone when there's someone literally sitting at home waiting for you to start something so that they could just you know go and shoot your face off you get what I'm saying yeah and I just, yeah, I just feel like the community has improved on a lot of stuff, but not everything to the point where it's like pitch perfect. 
because if honestly i feel like the community would be a lot better like everyone would be a lot happier if hydras weren't in the game if oppressors weren't in the game if oppressor mark twos weren't in the game if they took out the orbital cannon because those are all like subtle like kind of subtle things like things that you won't see every day but you know when you see it you're like like th this kid really this kid's really going around shooting people with an orbital cannon from way over yonder in his freaking facility like and nobody could touch him because he's in because he's in his facility you know he has a freaking orbital cannon on him that he can use like once i think it's like once every 10 minutes and it's only like two hundred thousand dollars so you know yeah you know when when kids have stuff like that then you they're just untouchable when kids have hydras that are faster than the homing rockets that are meant to take down aircrafts like that they're unstoppable when kids have flying motorcycles that shoot rockets homing rockets they're unstoppable and i feel like the community would just improve way better like oh, the improve that would not that does not make any sense the community would be way better if all that stuff was just gone like if all that stuff just got wiped but i don't know i don't know that's that's personally how i feel and i don't know let, let me know how you feel about this because i think that's how i feel i'm not a hundred percent sure because at the same time, I feel like Hydras and Oppressors are really fun for the people that have them. And Orbital Cannons are really fun for the people that have them. And that's why they bought them. is because they're so much fun. And so, like, it would kind of take away from the game. But also, I mean, we can't do anything now. But, I mean, yeah, let, let me know how you feel. Because I'm not too sure how I feel. But other than that, I mean, it's been your boy Purple. And I'm out. Peace.